The title of this live broadcast was Don't Watch If You're Sensitive, so I'm going to tell you the same thing right now. So at this point of this clip that I'm sharing with you, we had already been on live for like two hours. So I'm not mad. I'm not upset. I'm just super passionate. We was having a deep conversation. So check the link in the description box to find the whole entire live broadcast. But I'm not getting on Gina Kerr or nothing like that, but sometimes I still get comments of people thinking that I was attacking her. And I just want to show you guys in this video what I was trying to prevent someone who now has hair weathering from Gina Curl. This is all I was trying to prevent, you guys. Oh, my God. I got a Gina Curl and my hair is shedding and breaking bad. What do you recommend? Products or should I just cut it off? I'm ready for the truth. Do you promise me that you're ready to hear the truth? Like, please don't say that if you don't mean it. Don't lie to me. I'm not going to answer until you say, Cynthia, I promise I can handle the truth. You call, you don't have to call me Stand Out. Say Cynthia. All right. You over, she around from the street, she ready. No, you've already spent enough money, I'm sure. If you don't mind sharing, can you please, if you don't mind sharing, if you don't, if you don't mind sharing, can you please share how much you paid? for your Gina curl. And then two, I'm about to tell you exactly what to do to fix it. But you're going to have to cut your hair off. The reason that Gina curls products are so trash to me is because yeah, she promotes that, oh, your curl pattern will be different. But if you comb your hair, you can't even comb your fucking hair. She don't, she tells them you can't brush it, you can't comb it, you can't blow dry it. You the entire structure of your hair was completely changed around. But see, the stuff that she do is different. It's way more expensive and it's way different from what your grandmas and your aunties is already doing. It's a black woman you could have went to that would have did that shit for $65 and you would have been straight. All right. But see what Gina did. She make the, her her product is incomplete because it never neutralizes your hair again. See, when you get a relaxer, you change the bonds in your hair. You remove some of the bonds and you rechange the structure of your hair inside, right? But you, with a relaxer, you put pH balance in shampoo and it normalizes it and it sets your hair in a new pH balance. So after a relaxer, you go from curly to bone straight hair, but you can still blow dry. You can still flat iron. You can still braid it. You can still do everything to your hair that you did before. Why? Because your, your hair shaft was rearranged and neutralized. But see, with her shit, she playing in black hair. She don't know nothing about it. So they don't know how to neutralize it. So now your hair, after she gave, after she fucked, hmm, after she played in your hair and took all your money, she never neutralized your hair back. That's why your hair is breaking off. That's why it's falling out. Because your bonds, she broke your bonds apart and she never put them back together. Gina broke your stuff apart and she never put it back together. That's what happened. And see, what happens is, and the reason that I... I Oh, the reason that I went off on her like that on the phone is because I knew this shit would happen. I knew that a lot of y'all would believe her and y'all would trust her uh, mm, and y'all would trust her and y'all would go right over there into that and start following her and doing everything that she tell y'all to do and give her all of your money. I knew that it would do th that this would happen and that hair weathering would set in. And by the time hair weathering set in, she either blaming you or it ain't nothing she could do. So my love, your after she took your bonds apart, she never put them back together. You have to cut your hair off. You have to and start from scratch. And let this be the last time you ever go to somebody who can't even answer a question on what is the difference between black hair and, and other hair. Don't ever let a person like that touch your hair. I'm not saying that if she not black, she can't do hair because it's black women who can't do hair. But I asked her what the difference was between what I asked her, what was the difference between the bonds? In 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 um 
the cortex of a black woman versus a white woman or anybody else that's not black. And she told me that she couldn't answer the question, but her job is to take the bombs apart. But she, she couldn't even tell me that the re she could no. That's what I asked her. What makes what makes black hair curly? She told me, oh, the way that it coils out the scalp. I asked her, but why does it coil like that out the scalp? And she said, oh, well, I can't answer that for you. I don't know. My love, you're going to have to cut all of your hair off. I love you so much, but you're going to have to start over. You're going to have to start over. You're going to have to start over. And that's why I was going so hard telling you not to do it because there's no going back. There's no going back. Oh, my love. You pay. I love you. This is the, this on my, on my mama, on my hood. This is why I made those videos. And I, this is the thing. I got so much shit from black women. I didn't get one white woman attacking me for saying that that white woman was a fraud. I didn't get one white woman telling me that I was wrong for saying she was a fraud. The only people who told me that I was wrong and that called me out of my name was other black women. And all I was trying to do was avoid what happened to you. That white woman charged you $850 for something that you could have went to your grandma for for $60. You can go get Wave Nouveau right now from Sally's for about $25. That white woman set up here, she's older. So the same black women who started doing Wave Nouveau way back, she was in the salon with them, but they wouldn't fuck with her. They wouldn't mess with her. So she waited until time went over. And instead of getting with the, with the black women back then, or instead of messing with the black women back then, now she messing with younger girls. Have you ever asked yourself why all of the women who doing Gina Curl are young? Huh? Have you ever asked yourself that? It's a couple of older women that go into her, but the majority of them are younger than me. The majority of them was born in the 2000s and don't know shit about Wave Nouveau. Most of y'all don't even know the difference between a wet jerry curl and a dry curl. So y'all thought she was doing something different because it wasn't a wet curl and it's a dry curl. My daddy ain't had no wet curl. My daddy had a dry curl, boo. His hair wasn't wet, dripping like, oh, Pinky Nick, I gotta go pee pee. Pinky was a wet curl. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. This intensity ain't towards you. My intensity, I'm, I'm, I, it's, it's frustrating when when you try to negate something when you try to stop something and the people that you trying to save attack you for trying to fucking save them and now where is gina what did she say when you called her what did she say did you tell her that your hair falling out what did she tell you to do it's a jerry curl it's a fucking jerry curl it's a dry curl it's an incomplete dry curl. It was crazy. We suing Olaplex, but y'all still get, oh, Lord. And let me ask you this. Did Gina actually do your hair or was somebody else doing it? Yes, go ahead, cut it in a bob. But this is the thing. Don't y'all have to stop blaming other people. We as a as a as a unit, as a, as a people, we have to fucking take responsibility. We have to take responsibility. People try to steal stuff from you all the time. Like people try to you have to know who you are. And when you know who you are and you know your body, you know your scalp, you know the way that the follicle work. You know that the human body produces his own oil you know 
you know about the bonds that hold the hair together. You know all of this shit. You can't get played. But but y'all care more about arguing and going back and forth. Ooh, what's the best between this and that? So nobody ever gets ahead. And y'all are easily manipulated. Easily manipulated. Easy. It's easy. It's so easy. If I was a different type of woman, I could be so fucking paid. Because y'all are so easy to manipulate. It's so fucking easy. Are the chat still live? Yes, baby. We in here. We in here, boo. Unsubscribing from everyone on YouTube. I'm tired of fake news. Do what you got to do, baby. Oh, she said use a wide tube comb to detangle and use Olaplex. It didn't work. I, ooh, I, mm. I, mm, I, I'm just, I think it's just because I'm from the D. I just feel like when people do whole shit, they need their ass whooped. That's how I feel. Oh my God. Like if, 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 if ooh, she, Gina is the type I want to get my grandma on her. Don't call my grandma is from the D. My grandma would like, grandma, I got somebody for you, grandma. Cause she been playing, she playing with y'all. She playing with y'all. And I told y'all that because when I did the whole thing and then I came back, I, I came back and I told y'all, she sent me a fucking DM and was like, ha ha, thank you for the good um, promotion. Your people, they love me even more. I have even more followers because after I told y'all Gina was a fraud and that all of y'all hair would fall out if y'all fucked with her, she bragged about the fact that y'all was still going. This was two, three years ago. I've been told y'all not to fuck with her. I've been told y'all that. And she don't give a damn about you. She already got $850 for giving you a $45 jerry curl. That's some shit. Girl, you, girl, cut it off, start over, and don't you let one more old-ass white woman play you out of your money. It, it infuriates me, as you can tell. It like it in like I feel the fury of my fucking ancestors. Like I, it makes me irate to see. Like it's one thing to live and to read about white women taking shit and putting a name on it and taking stuff from other black women that that produced it, but it's a whole nother thing to A, be living through it when it's happening and to watch your own fucking people attack you when you try to tell them. Oh, it don't make me feel good to see it happening to y'all. It don't feel good. It pisses me off. Cause I told y'all how to avoid her two years ago, but I was a hater. I was a hater. I was jealous. I had black women telling me that I'm just jealous of her because she getting money, more money than I could ever make. That's what black women was telling me when I tried to get y'all not to go to her. I blame the natural hair movement. No, it's not the natural hair movement's fault. It is black women not thinking for their self, period. Because if you go on Google Right now, if you go on Google and type in who started the curl typing chart, Andre Walker's name is going to pop up instantly. None of y'all did it. Nobody did it. Nobody went and searched who, brought, who made it up. Y'all all just blindly followed the YouTubers. It is nobody's fault but the black woman, period. That's what makes me mad. We will not take responsibility for our shit. We won't. In any way, shape, or form. Grandmothers, mothers, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't want to talk about it. Own your shit. Because when you own your shit, the generation that come, is coming up after you can learn from your mistakes and they won't make the same ones. But because we don't own our shit, my daughter's generation and my son's generation will be trying to figure this shit out. Because y'all are not woman enough to own your shit. Period. 
I had so many friends that got a jerry curl back in high school and a lot have been getting big chops and they were complaining about they can't blow dry their hair or even braid it or straighten it. And guess what? Before you sit in a chair, they tell you that. And y'all be like, it's okay. My hair is curly. I don't care about wearing it like that until you're faced with the reality of only being able to wear your hair in its natural state. Then you go to blow dry it and your hair fall out and then you mad that your hair falling out when they told you before you sat down that this will be the last time that you comb your hair. So whose fault is it that you in that situation? Yours or Gina's? It's your fault. I do not blame Gina for this shit. I blame black women because you should be, it's your fault. You're a black woman. Why the fuck would you let an old white woman give you a jerry curl? It's your fault, sis. Deal with the shit. Get some clippers, shave that shit off, tough it out, start over.